What's up, ladies? How's everybody doing? It's the Chubby Girl Lifestyle. It's the Chubby Girl Lifestyle. Hi, ladies. How's everybody? We'll see who comes, you know? Haven't been here for a second. People may have given up on me. People may have been like, Mel, where did you go, Mel? Mel, where have you been? Well, Mel's been on the road. I'm Connie. What's up, girlfriend? I feel like I have not seen my people in ages, even though I've seen my people all the time. Hey, girlfriend. How are you doing? I don't think anybody knows I'm going live, so there's that part. People are probably like, screw that bitch. She ain't been on in forever. How you doing, Connie? How's life treating you, queen? Heather's in the house. Heather. Heather, I was just talking about you. In such a good way. I was telling Krista, we were in the car and we were talking about you and um, how you consistently post every day in a group and how much I love it. How it's, it's a good thing. Wendy. Hey, friend. I know. I haven't been on in a week, Wendy. Just so you know, I had a nervous breakdown. And if you didn't know, I've uh, been traveling across the United States and uh, going through some life stuff. So uh, glad you caught me, too. Heather, thank you for sharing the live. I appreciate that tremendously. Um, I'm, I'm good. I, I wouldn't say I'm great. Um, I'm good, though. So thank you for asking. How's everybody doing? My hair looks like hell. I look like hellacious. Y'all can tell I look like I've been... Denise, what's up, girlfriend? Denise, thank you for reminding me because, you know, like I got that menopause brain, so uh, there's that part. How's everybody tonight? Where's everybody in here from? If you're not one of my chubby girl people already. I know people see this room and they're like, chubby. It's so funny, I was talking to a lady um, when I was in Kentucky um, and I was like, so we started talking about the word chubby because I was telling her that she she was in the store looking at creamer and you know me, I can't shut the hell up. So I had to go over and talk to her about protein and her and I started you know, shooting the shit and she was, it was like, she's my twin. I feel like almost like every woman in this age range in America, like has gone through the same struggles. I can't get comfortable. Sorry. The same struggles in life with the same kind of things. So we sat there, start talking and she's like, mm, I don't like the word chubby. I'm like, well, I don't like chubby either, but that's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, I will forever be a chubby girl. There's no getting around that. So, um, and I will always have that internal chubbiness in me. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come on tonight really quick because, you know, all the Amazon Prime stuff is going on. And I wanted to let people know about the ZenWise. We had to talk about that because this is time to um, load up on the, um, on the whatchamacallit. But on a scale of 1 to 10, um, before we get into all that, uh, how y'all feeling? How y'all living today? Um, 1 to 10, 10, 10, it's the best damn day of your life. 1, it's kind of been like, eh. You know, it's a Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. It's the middle of July, you know. Um, hope you get a new friend in on the magnesium hack. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, definitely. I'm from Nova Scotia. Thank you for, oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, so if you're in the group, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what's going on right now. So um, my Facebook page where we have almost 10,000 women as a support group has been mass reported. Um, Wendy, I don't like that three. Hey, girlfriend. She got a reading from her this morning. Guided gifts. You need to check guided gifts out. Um, yeah, I. so my, my, my brand, we've been around now. So if you don't know, Chubby Girl Lifestyle, my name is Mel. I'm the founder. Um, I have lost now, uh, I think it's 46 pounds. I don't know. Last time I... I'm going to officially measure um, on the last day of July. So we'll get to talk about that in a second too. But um, so I am the founder of the Chubby Girl Lifestyle. I piss a lot of people off, which is good because, you know, pissing people off keeps them like, you know. Um, but anyway, uh, so I have six free simple steps that we do. I've got hundreds, now thousands of women who are living a healthy lifestyle, who are sleeping through the night, who feel better. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, are you, are you the one, V, V, are you my winner? Are you my winner from the walkathon? Wait, 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 I got to see this. Is that V, V, are you Veronica V? 
Isn't that your name, Veronica? Is that it? Is that you? Is that you? I need to know if that's her for a girl. So you have see V down there. We all got to give V a shout out. So let me tell y'all what we did. So I'm the founder of the Chubby Girl Lifestyle, like I was saying. Six free simple steps. Came up with put the shit together. Um, was starving myself. I felt like shit. Like I was literally almost 50 pounds heavier. And this was just in January. So um, started this group. It's inclusive. We don't give a fuck if you take medication. If you don't take medication, if you've had gastric bypass, if you've done the sleeve, we're all women going through the same struggle. And so uh, we're taking away diet mentality. We're trying to get rid of all that shit altogether, right? So anyway, last month we decided, or I decided, we were going to do the first ever chubby girl lifestyle well chubby girl challenge they just don't like that word here on tiktok walkathon so we did a 50 50 drawing if you know what a 50 50 drawing is it means a whole bunch of people put in like five dollars each and then we do a drawing and we draw the person's name well veronica v see her right there v see that v right there we got to shout her out i need hearts in the room i need some fucking megaphones because she won 520 dollars so um if you want to v please message me on facebook if you haven't already um so i can get your information i'll zell it to you or you want me to cash app it to you whatever you want to do girlfriend you got it um you also are going to get a swag bag um, that says I survived the first chubby girl challenge t-shirt and I've got some Zen wise gifts for you and I've got some stuff for you. So congratulations, everybody. Let's shout out V. That's really awesome. I don't know how I have a hundred people in here and two hearts, but Hey, it works. If you're in the room and you don't know about this, thank you, Yolanda. I appreciate that. You want to tap the screen, ladies. Tapping the screen will make them come. If you're not a big person about giving money away on social media, I get that. I don't even want your money. I just want you to thank you for that, Nancy. I just want you to share this room and I want you to tap the screen. I also, if you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you part of the subscribing team. Now, let me tell you why that is. As I was talking about a couple of minutes ago, thank you, Wendy. So I was telling y'all a couple of minutes ago, some bitches for that. Jess, thank you for lack of a better word. I went live the other night and told a story about um, sexual assault. I'm not going to get into any details tonight because it triggered a lot of people. And I shared my story. Well, guess what? My assailant happened to find out about this, like big shock, right? And um, they had a temper tantrum because they said, I was trying to get clout off of them, which is kind of funny because, you know, dude hasn't had a job in like 80 years and has 14 kids and owes like a quarter of a million dollars in child support. So I don't know what I'd want from him. However, whatever. So him and his family like mass reported my page. And um, so now my Facebook's going to be shut down. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Thank you, Yolanda. I appreciate that. So thank you for being a member. So Right now, just to be really transparent, everybody in here, if you are in the chubby girl lifestyle or the rank, we are facing being shut down right now. Just going to be really transparent. So what I've been doing, I haven't slept in like 24 hours. That's why I look like this. I don't normally come on here looking like shit. Um, but I've been working on, this is so cool. Like I can't even believe I'm about to announce this. Like I really cannot even believe I'm about to say this. If someone would have told me in January I was just about to say this shit. I'd have told them they were a damn liar. But, you know, guided gifts right there, that's my girl right there. Right there, that's that's my girl. I'm not going to call her real name out because I, I believe in anonymity, but I know her name. It starts with a C, but that's another story. Candy! Candy's the one who just won a t-shirt from me, an autographed t-shirt she got. Um, and she's got a, a swag bag coming out too. But as I was saying, um, so this is big. So... You, ha you know how they say turn chicken shit into chicken salad? Well, she's laughing at me because she knows she got my ass this morning. Because these women are really my best friends. We really are best friends. Hi, Boston, Massachusetts. We are a support group. We're not like tops or Weight Watchers or some bullshit like that. We are 9,000 women who really ride for each other, who really are. And as you can see, I'm fat too. I'm big too. I'm overweight myself. I am going through these struggles that everybody's going through. I'm not asking people to do things that I'm not doing because I'm doing them too. So anyway, after um, Mr. Small Energy, we'll call him Small Energy, uh, he decided to uh, report the page and get my Facebook shut down. I said, well, you know what? We're going to turn chicken shit into chicken salad, and that's what the fuck we're going to do because I woke up this morning to probably 200, 230 messages from people all over TikTok being like, Mel, 
I don't give a shit what you have to do. I cannot lose my women in the chubby girl lifestyle. I cannot lose my women in the chubby girl challenge. This, this shit's like for real, for real. We are, and again, if you don't like profanity, I'm not the bitch and I'm the founder of the group. So if you don't like profanity, I'm not her. So I'm going to share with y'all some shit that's about to go up down. Krista told me I wasn't allowed to talk it, talk about it, but I'm talking about it anyway. Hey, how you doing, Remy? If you're in the room, I need you to tap the screen and I need you to shout yourself out. So if you are in the room right now, and you are part of the chubby girl lifestyle or you're part of the rink, I need you to put an emoji in the room, if you could, really quickly. If you have a significant um, inches that you wanna share that you've lost or if you, you're, some people are still like, wait, if you wanna share a number, put it in the room. Chalet! Oh, look at councilman's in the fucking house. Okay, this is this is a real party now. We got all the women up in here. I got I got Heather. I look, I got everybody in here. I got Stacy. I got Angela. I, yes, Nancy. Hell yes. Is that Melinda? Yes, Melinda. Okay, so here we go, ladies. It's about to fucking go down for real. So you know how they, they hold me down because like I talk shit. Okay, sorry. Sharon from North Carolina. I'm from Jacksonville, girlfriend. Well, for right now. But anyway, so you know how these multi-level marketing companies, these women who call themselves our friends, um, these people who are like, hey, you should buy this product right here. See this product right here? This is a piece of plastic. And if you put this in your mouth and you suck on it for six weeks, you will be as just thin and healthy and you'll never fight with your husband or boyfriend again or your girlfriend and everything in life will be perfect. And then you give them $199 and you buy this and you go, okay. Oh, okay. All right. And then you get in a fight with your husband. And then you're like, uh, and then you're like, your kids are being shitty. And you're like, wait, I'm not sucking on this hard enough. And then they say, well, you know what? The problem is you only bought one of these for 199. You really need the extra strength, two of them. And if you get two of them for $2.99, I'll be your best friend for the next year. Hey girl. And you know what? We'll do this together. And then you will. Okay, here I go again, here I go. And you're waiting for the shit to happen and you gain four pounds. And then you're like, oh, what the fuck, right? Those are the kind of bitches that don't get to come to our party. They don't get to go to the rink. They don't get to hang out with us. Um, or worse yet, you've got people with the peepees between their legs. I'm not gonna call them out because then TikTok shuts me down. These men who don't know anything about our bodies try to tell us, or better yet, oh, I'm a fitness coach. I'm 28 years old. Motherfucker, I'm 52. I'm old enough to be your mama. And you're going to try to tell me what I go through with my menopause? Do you know what it feels like? We'll call him Billy. Billy, the workout expert, to wake up in the morning and your vajayjay itches, but there's nothing wrong with your vajayjay. Or you wake up in the morning, your armpits are itching. Or you wake up in the morning and you have a fupa that you did not have the night before, and it looks like you're nine months pregnant. Or better yet, better yet, you wake up and you got your first facial hair. This is all called menopause. This is what you get after you're born as a woman, then you get a fucking period, then you motherfucking have babies. And then it's like, hey, guess what? Life didn't F you enough without any lubrication. Here's menopause, bitch. And now you're crying about everything. You're upset. You're not sleeping through the night. You're almost peeing your pants. Like you're like, what the hell? What the actual hell, right? Your JJ is like the Sahara Desert. Like, let's talk about it now, right? Let's put it out there, ladies. And so here we are now. Now let's talk about like the part of our bodies, right? Now you're gaining weight. Like everything you're doing, you're like, okay, they said if I eat a calorie deficit, I will lose weight. So I did it. So for three weeks, I ate 1,400 calories a day. 14 motherfucking 100 calories a day. And I got on the scale and that motherfucking scale said, hey, bitch. Hey, come on over here, girl, because guess what? You just gained five pounds. And I'm like, what? I like laid on my floor, screamed and cried, had a temper tantrum, went off about it. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And I think when you go through, when you get to a certain age, we as women, our fuck it meter like breaks. Like it literally is like, like your whole life. You're like, oh, you know, I'm fighting my significant other. Oh, you know, my job is ending. Oh, you know, this is going on. Oh, this is happening. But then you get to be like about 40 and your whole fucking body is like, fuck this shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. Fucking fire me. I don't give a fuck. Walk out. I don't want to be married anymore. I don't give a fuck. I don't need kids. I'm, I'm 52. And you just don't care anymore. Right. And all of a sudden, that's when I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm literally not doing this anymore. And I literally got on TikTok and I'm not even lying to y'all. 
I looked up at every fucking thing. What's this woman doing? What's that woman doing? If you want to know my background, I have an addiction. I'm uh, an addiction. I, I do have an addiction to food, but I have a background in addiction counseling. And so the more I thought about this, I was like, you know what? Weight gain, weight, overeating, you know, all this shit ties to mental health and it ties to gut health. So I was like, wait, what can I do here? So I've been on every diet in the world. If you've been on every diet in the world, if you've been on more than 10 lifestyle changes, that's it, right? I'm a youper. If you've done more than 10 lifestyle changes, if you've done tops, if you've done Atkins, if you've done Beachbody, have you done Weight Watchers? Have you done Octavia or whatever that shit is where you starve yourself? If you've done any of that, I want to see it in the room. Throw me a number. Hey, Anna Marie, throw a number in the room. How many diet plans have you been on in your lifetime? 10 or more, 20 or more, 30 or more. Every time something comes out, every time someone walks up to you with a magic bean and offers you a fucking piece of plastic and you buy it and you put it in your mouth because you think that if you could lose it and you could shed all the weight, that everything in life would be right. Well, guess what? That's not how the fuck this shit works. Because the reason we are overeaters and the reason we are addicted to food is because it's mentality. It's got part of it is your brain. So you can fix your body. You can cut your leg off. You can get surgery. You can do whatever they want. But if you don't fix it here, if you don't fix it here, the shit is never going to stay. Okay. So then I took all that shit and I said, okay, what the fuck can I do? What the fuck can I do? It's not about what I can't do because no one gives a shit about what you can't do. It's about what you can do. So I said, well, Mel. I can fast. Can I fast? Nah, I fucking hate fasting. I'm going to tell you right now, this is step number one. You're going to start fasting. Well, no, first thing you're going to do, first thing you're going to do is you're going to say, fuck the scale. I'm about to fucking blow your mind. If you're, if you've not been in one of these sessions, this is about to be a mind fuck session. Um, and then I'm going to tell you about where we're going as a group. We're going to launch an app. What? What? We're going to launch an app. We're about to do something so fucking epic as a group of women and this isn't about Mel. This is about what I call the menopause movement. This is about the fuck this fucking shit diet mentality. No motherfucking man is going to put me on a fucking scale again and tell me how much I should weigh. Because guess what, player? You want me to get on a scale? Then you get on a fucking ruler. Okay? That's where we're talking. And the reason I keep getting shut down and the reason I keep getting shut down is because I talk like this. So... What I'm going to do to counteract that is Mel is about to launch her own app and her own website to represent every fucking woman in this room. Every woman in this room, and we're about to make a movement. We're about to change the way people think about their bodies, the way people approach, approach food, and the way people get healthy, okay? Especially women. Fucking men can figure it out themselves. This is fucking a woman's only event, okay? So I measured myself. If you don't have it, me 360. If there, anybody in here is a moderator, if any, do I have any moderators in the room? Do I have any of my moderators in the room? I should have moderators in here. If I do not have a moderator in the fucking room, there she is, there's Susan, thank you. What I, I need y'all to put the link up in here. So listen, the first thing I need you to do is go to your app store. I don't care if you got iOS. I don't care if you've got Android. I don't care what kind of phone you have. You need to look up the word me, M-E, 360, spell it out, 3, T-H-R-E-E, -E, 60, S-I-X-T-Y, and pull the app up. I'm about to blow your mind. You're going to, you're going to do something like modern. You're not going to take a fucking tape measure like we used to do. Remember the tape measure and you put it around your stomach and you'd be like, okay, it says I'm 40. Mm, okay, let's do it really tight. Okay, I'm 46 inches. No, this is going to be an actual scan of your body. Because we're going to say fuck the scale because the scale is the devil. The scale is like your ex. The scale will lie to you. Okay. The scale is a motherfucking liar. And if you're in peri, post, or active menopause, that shit really be playing mind games. You can wait. It's, it's like the weather in upper Michigan. You can motherfucking walk outside right now and it can be 80 degrees. And you can go in the house and, and go to the bathroom and come back and it's fucking below zero. And there's fucking frosty the snowman in your front yard. That's the scale. Okay. So fuck the scale. That's number one. Number two, you're going to start fasting. Ooh, I hate fasting. I hate fasting too. But guess what? It's not not normal to be eating 24 seven. There's nothing normal about that. Thank you, Kathy. And if you, if you think I'm full of shit, if you have grandchildren, if you have children, next time your grandchild comes over, I want you just to open the refrigerator, put all the cookies on the table, all the chips on the fucking table and say, you know what, little Billy, eat until you can throw up. 
that's not normal. We don't feed animals like that. We don't feed our children like that. We don't feel our elderly like that, but we feed our fucking selves like that because for some reason we think that we don't deserve to be healthy. Another story, another day. So anyway, so you're going to start fasting. Fasting is going to suck. The first week you fast, you're going to call me every bitch in the world. And I'll be that. I'll be that bitch because I'm your best friend. So I can be your bitch. But guess what's going to happen a week into it? You're going to have all this. See all this right here? All this right here? That is from fasting. Before I started fasting, I laid in that fucking bed. I cried. I didn't get up. I was suffering from depression. I felt like fucking shit. And I'm not going to sit here and bullshit y'all. The biggest mistake people make with fasting, let me tell you this really quickly, is you motherfuckers do something and you don't stop doing it. Girlfriend, fasting, your body will figure it out. You cannot do a 16-8 fast for the next two years and then write to me and say, hey Mel, I've been doing a 16-8 fast since I was 27. I'm now 51. Can you tell me why it's not working? Well, guess what, girlfriend? Your body figured it out. So once your body figures it out, you got to switch it up. So every 21 to 30 days, you got to switch your fast up. The other part about it is stop beating yourself up. Stop beating your, listen, I'm tapping my own screen, okay? Tap the fucking screen if you agree with me on this one. How many times have you self-sabotaged what you were doing because you didn't follow your own rules? I'm going to wait for in the room. Can I get a witness? Can I get a yes? Can I get a yes smell? How many times have you been like, you know what? I'm going to do this diet and I'm going to fast. And then, and then one day you're like, fuck it. You know what? I really want to eat till 10. I'm supposed to start fasting at nine. And then the next morning you wake up and you're like, fuck it. I'm a failure. Oh God, I ate an hour later. I'm a stupid bitch. That's why no one loves me. Oh my God, I'm going to be a potato my whole life. Do you know that feeling? Exactly. Fuck that shit. You got to stop that shit, okay? There's so much flexibility in this. This is the shit that's going to be mind-blowing. The women who do this, like you see Kathy right here, that Kathy that just gave me that, she shouldn't be giving me gummy bears. I should be giving her gummy bears. If y'all could see how small Kathy is, Kathy's all over my page. Kathy is like, whoop, shrunk, like nothing. Like, whoop. I think she's like, Mel, I think I'm going to keep going until I hit like 130 pounds because fuck it, like the weight's just falling off my body. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for that. So... That's the point. It's supposed to be seamless. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be, you don't have to think this shit out. You're not fucking measuring shit. We don't count motherfucking calories. We don't fucking count carbs. I don't fucking know who your higher power is, girlfriend. I really do not know. I believe in God. I don't know who you believe in, but whoever your higher power is, do you think your higher power made carbs for you never to eat them again? Hmm. Do you think your higher power made strawberries and said, you should never eat a motherfucking strawberry again because you know what? Some motherfucker down the street said that. No, all the food was created to be enjoyed in our bodies, okay? The problem is, the problem, Kathy, you are so sweet, you're about to make me cry. I was not your secret ingredient, you were. All right, so as I was saying, you have to, have to, have to, have to stop beating yourself up. Okay. And this is again, seamless six steps. You're going to be like, this bitch is full of shit. I wish I was, I wish all these women in this room, they can tell you I'm not full. Of, I mean, I'm full of shit. I really am, but not bad shit, like good shit. So then you're going to fast and then you're going to start a digestive enzyme. That's kind of what motivated this discussion tonight. Just so y'all know, let me run in the other room and grab them. If you don't know what a digestive enzyme is, let me break it down to you. Cause I didn't either. So a digestive enzyme is kind of like a pill full of Pac-Man. Do you remember Pac-Man? Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. Okay, that game. Well, the difference is you put it in your body and you let those Pac-Man break your fucking food up. Why is that? Because we eat a lot of processed food. We are a processed food eating society. If you don't have a gallbladder, let me piss you off really good tonight. Let me, let me, let me make you call your doctor in the morning and ask him what the actual fuck. And I'm going to tell you why. I have not had a gallbladder for 19 years. 20 years and no one ever said hey Mel by the way you're probably fat and you're chubby because you know what you can't process your food <laughs> you know why would you tell me that doctor you gave me some really good pain medicine but you never told me about how to digest food so that's that part so digestive enzyme helps you break your food down doesn't do anything other than that people are like is it going to give me diarrhea am I going to no it's going to it's going to mess with your stomach the first couple days that's because you have shitty gut health if you think I'm full of shit, 
then I want you to go to Google and I want you to look up any study that talks about gut health and mental health. And you'll see it's a real thing. So what we do at the Chubby Girl Lifestyle, again, I'm not going to sell you any products. This is going to fuck y'all up. I don't want your money. I don't want you to come join my group and you, none of that bullshit. But what I do want you to do is I want you to go to the link that's right underneath my picture on the main page and I'll walk you there. I want you to go to Amazon tonight. Why is this important, Mel, tonight? You gotta do it tonight because it's Amazon Prime. It's 30% off and if you use Mel Zen 10, it's 40% off. So this bottle right here is normally like, I think they're like $28 for a month. I take one before every meal and I don't get stomach bloat. It helps me with that. I, I'm more regular now. My whole body, everything feels better. And this right now tonight is on sale for like, I think it's like $15, $16. And what I'm going to say about this is I want you to think about the last time you bought a product to help you feel better, which we all know is losing weight. Or you bought a company's product or you bought these magical pills or this shake or this shitty ass tasting protein dick bar, I call them. And you had to eat stuff that tasted like my ex-husband's from under his, you know. Um, yeah, so you that, that we're too old for that shit. We're, we're too old for things that don't taste good. We are too old for things that do not taste good, that do not serve us, and do not mentally make us feel better. If those three things aren't part of your diet, then you're doing something fucking wrong. You should not wake up and be afraid of food, girlfriend. That is not how life should be. So go and get you a digestive enzyme. Everybody in the group is on a digestive enzyme. I don't give a fuck where you get it. I don't care who you get it from. I don't care if you go to Walmart and buy it and go to Kmart if you can find one. But we, I, want to know what Mel's doing? That's what Mel's doing right there. Zenwise. Zenwise, Zenwise, Zenwise. Okay, now what's the next part? Okay, so the next part of it is, this part's the easy part. This part is fucking crazy. This part is protein. What, Mel? Protein. 100, 100 100 grams of protein. Is it grams, ounces? Why can't I think right now? 100 grams of protein in a day or more. Don't, don't fucking write to me in a week or two weeks and say, Mel, I'm only eating 50, gra 50 grams of protein. Why am I not shedding? Okay, let me tell you something. Let me do an analogy for you. What kind of car does everybody drive? Let's do that. What kind of car does everybody drive? I need to, I need to know what kind of car. Do you drive like a... I have a Ford Explorer. It's like eight years old. What kind of car do you have? Do you have a Toyota? Do you have a Honda? Do you have a Mitsubishi? Do you have a, you know, what, what do you have? Okay. So you have a car, right? And you wake up in the morning and you're getting ready to go to the gym or to Target or wherever. And you turn the car on and that little red light's on and you need to put gas in your car. Now watch the analogy. You're the car. So now you have two choices. You can either go to the gas station and you can put the cheap ass gas in your car. You don't give a fuck. It's going to make your car run. It's going to work, right? You're going to get where you need to go and you're going to save a couple dollars. Hmm. Or, or you do what your dad said, your grandpa said, if you want to take care of your car, you always change your oil, right? And you always use the premium gas. So when you wake up in the morning, you make a decision every single day. Am I going to put calories and whoever the fuck told you all calories are the same lied to you. L-I-E-D, lied to you. Because if you do any research, you will know that protein calories take longer to burn out of your body, six times longer than any other food that you're gonna put in there. Okay, so let's just put that on the table. So now I've been fasting all night. It's time for me to break my fast. What the hell am I doing? If it's Mel, I'm doing profi. This is how the epiphany happened. I'm driving through fucking Starbucks and I'm thinking about the car analogy. What am I gonna put in my body today? How am I gonna treat my body today? What kind of calories am I gonna eat today? And I go to order my shaken espresso. I always get a, I used to always get a venti shaken espresso with no classic, three Splenda, sugar-free vanilla and, and skim milk. And all of a sudden, like something in my little brain went ding, 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 ding. I hate protein, by the way. Let's put that in the universe. I hate protein. I hate protein. Hold up. I hate protein. I hate protein shakes. I hate protein powder. I don't like the texture. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I don't fucking like the way it tastes. 
But for some reason that morning, my doctor had told me the night before, you got to increase your protein. It's the biggest mistake women make. He said women in particular need more protein every year the older they get. So in five-year increments, you should be increasing your protein every year. So the protein I ate at 40 is not the protein I'm eating at 52, right? So I had no idea about this shit. And he looked at me and he said, Mel, how the hell do you think bodybuilders cut weight? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, why do you think they shrink before a competition? I was like, because they eat shit. Chicken! Chicken's a protein. Oh shit, he's right, right? But you also can't deny your body all the other stuff. It needs it. So I'm sitting there in the thing. I said, can I get a venti shaken? Ex- no, can I get a venti over ice with three shots of espresso? And the girl's like, that's all you want? And I'm like, yeah, no sugar, no cream. No, I don't want any of your additives. I'm good. And I got in my car and I drove over to the gas station. I walked into the gas station. I carried my little ass over there, 50 pounds heavier. And I looked at them and I said, salted caramel protein shake. Fuck is that? Okay. And out of the corner of my eye, right there in the corner of my eye, I saw this Torianos or Tor- I, I use skinny syrup, so I don't know what the fuck name of the shit is, but it said sugar-free um, salted caramel. I was like, hmm. So I went over and I poured some of that on top of my espresso. I'm a little pissed off right now because I'm thinking if this fucks my espresso up, I'm going to be pissed because I'm serious about my coffee. So I'm like, okay. And then I get my shake. I shake it up. I get in the car. I'm like, Ugh. like, why did I just do this? Mel, why'd you do this to yourself? And I poured my protein shake into my coffee. I shook it up and I was like, (coughs) have y'all ever been on a diet? I know you have. Where you drink shit that you have to drink it because it's part of the diet plan. And you feel like you're going to die when you're drinking it. Or you're like, you have to chug it to get it down because you're like, ugh. Again, this is why I don't have a significant other because I don't put things in my mouth anymore that do not serve me, okay? Let me just put that out there. Do y'all feel what I'm putting down, okay? Nothing goes in my mouth unless I enjoy it. All right, so there it is. So that morning, Profi was born. And that morning, I was like, what the actual fuck? Like, this is actually really fucking good. Like, what the fuck? Like, why did not some skinny person or bodybuilder or someone like be like, hey, Mel, You can drink coffee. And I realized as I drove through and drank my, I fucked my coffee up that morning about, now this is like 10 o'clock in the morning. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon, four o'clock and I'm not hungry. I'm like, who the fuck is, what what do you mean I'm not hungry? Well, I drank protein for breakfast. So of course, why would I be hungry? So the first couple days I played with this a lot and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to eat eggs with my, and so I increased my protein in the morning. When you break your fast, because you're like this on your fast, you don't want to eat that's why these ladies in my group, I love you ladies, but you're like, oh, I, I ate overnight oats. Boom. No, I ate uh, overnight French toast with keto bread. Oh yeah, baby. You know what I'm saying? Don't spike your, don't spike your sugar if you don't have to ladies. Like this is not, we ain't 24 years old anymore. So anyway, so that's how it was born. hundred grams of protein a day or more. People are like, what should I eat? I'm not telling you. No one's going to tell you. This is your lifestyle change. This is not a diet. So if you are in this room and you're like, this bitch has got the best diet ever. This lady, whoever this fucking Melly Mel is, she's got a diet. I do not have a diet. I do not. I have a lifestyle change. I have a lifestyle change that for some reason, all six things work together. I have hundreds of doctors I have nutritionists, I have RNs, I have medical professionals in the group that are like, you figured something out here. I don't know how the fuck you figured it out, but it all fucking works together. So don't write to me and tell me you can't do one of the six steps because it, fuck off. You got, you got to do them, ladies. Like, you got to. True sign of insanity is doing the same thing and expect, expecting a different outcome. So we focus on protein for breakfast. We focus on protein for dinner. We focus on protein for our snacks. But what do we eat for lunch? Now watch this in the room. People who are not in this group, this mind fucks everybody. I think that's why people actually think I'm crazy because I kind of been. What do we eat for lunch, ladies? Let me see if they told us. Let's see. Ladies, what do we eat? What do we eat for lunch, ladies? What do we eat for lunch, ladies? What would they say it? Would they say it? What? What? Can I see one person? Anything. Do you see what Nelly said right there? Nelly, Nelly, Bobelli, Banana, Fana, Fofelli, Me, My, Momelli. That's my girl, Nelly. Listen. We eat whatever the fuck we want to. 
We eat whatever the fuck we want to because we are grown ass motherfucking women. We have given birth to children. We have raised dogs. We have raised cats. We have raised nieces and nephews. And we have raised grown ass men because their mama didn't do it. We have ra raised women. If, if you're with women, like whoever you're with, whoever your person, we have raised and done our shit. So for lunch, for lunch, we eat what we want. That's why this is sustainable. You guys are like, what the fuck is this lady talking about? Exactly. So for breakfast, you're drinking that profi. For lunch, you know what? If I want a Whopper Junior, I have a fucking Whopper Junior. If I want a Whopper Junior with a small order of onion rings, I'm going to fucking have it. I'm not going to sit and focus on it. I'm not going to think about it all day long. I'm not going to deny myself because guess what? Tomorrow could be the last day I'm on this earth. And do you really, 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 really think, do you really motherfucking think that I want to go to heaven? Did I want to go to heaven with fucking some zoodles in my stomach? Some motherfucking zoodles or some fucking gross ass protein shit bar in my, no, no. I want to go to heaven with a fucking slice of pizza in my tummy. That's how I want to go to, that's the heaven I want to go to. Okay. So for lunch, it's whatever you want to. For dinner, you're focusing on high protein. For your snacks, you're focusing on high protein. And this is Fran, by the way. Say Fran, say hi. Say hi to your friends. This is our mascot, Fran. Say hi. But that that's it. Fran's also on a chubby girl lifestyle change because Fran has gained quite a bit of pounds. Okay, so anyway, lunch is whatever you want to. That way it takes away the obsession and it rewards you. So all night long, all I got to do is make it through a fast. This is what you can tell yourself. All I got to do is make it through the fast, have my protein in the morning, and for lunch, Girlfriend, go get you two slices of pizza and a diet Pepsi and call it a motherfucking day, right? Don't go out and get a dozen donuts. That's not how this works. But I have a baby. She was, we were not together for 10 days. So I'm going through puppy withdrawal. So anyway, as I was saying, the other thing we're going to do is 100 ounces of water or more. People are like, Mel, why all these things going around the TikTok about, um, water intoxication and all that bullshit don't fucking worry about that you're fucking don't go to bed and drink a hundred ounces of water before bed that's not good but by all means throughout the day you should be drinking water because you're eating high protein and you want to flush out your kidneys and that's the healthy way to do it and it will also help you this little dog laying on me like this and then and then i don't think i have it here with me you're going to move your body what does that mean, Mel? Well, what that means is you're not going to wake up tomorrow morning to my friends in the UP. So a UP, a Uper, is someone who lives in Upper Michigan. So my friends in Upper Michigan are not going to wake up in the morning and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to go this lifestyle change with Mel. I think I'm going to walk to Detroit. Or I'm, I'm from Upper Michigan. I think I'm going to walk to Milwaukee. That, it, no, you might do that for a day or two, but that's not sustainable sustainable is one to two percent more than you did last week so if last week you took a thousand steps this week walk 1200 steps it's baby steps this is about baby steps okay and keep your fucking ass off the scale let me say this to you i, I wish hmm, keep yourself off the scale okay keep yourself off the scale i can't say that enough and then at night before you get ready to go to bed you got to get some magnesium glycinate why now? Magnesium glycinate works with over 300 enzymes in your body to include your heart. It works with the pain mechanisms in your body. If you have fibromyalgia, if you have, if you have um, any kind of body aches, if you've got diabetes, if you've got high blood sugar, you have to be on magnesium glycinate. And why is that? I'm going to tell you why that is. You have to be on it because your body can't keep it. So it's kind of like the gas you put in your car, you know how you burn it out. Magnesium is water soluble. Please correct me if I'm wrong, Susan, but it's water soluble. So you have to continually replace it. 85% of women, 85% of women, oh, it does help with leg cramps. It helps with, you know, here's the thing I learned in doing this. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. Don't think I am. I'm not one of those motherfuckers. I'm not that smart. Um, but what I learned is when I was watching this doctor, he is an anesthesiologist and he said the biggest misconception is people think in surgery when you're in pain, they push pain medicine. They don't. They push magnesium, magnesium glycinate, not magnesium citrate. That's going to make you shit your brains out. So that's it. That's all we do. 
That's the chubby girl lifestyle. And then you have to go and join the group on Facebook Why we're still there. Um, but that's the exciting news. So um, how often do I take the magnesium glycinate at bedtime? Um, you'll find out it's like a natural help you go to sleep. Um, I take it about 30 minutes before I'm going to go to bed. Um, I sleep through the night. Um, that's something new because I'm 52 years old. I still get up and go to the bathroom because I have to drink water, but I sleep. I sleep. That's the difference. I sleep through the night, right? Um, and that's that's really important because when you get to a certain age, you stop sleeping through the night and you will feel a thousand percent better. I promise on everything that I love. Um, and then, so let's talk about the, I got I to gotta move because I'm getting hyper right now because what's about to go down. So let's go back to, I'm on, I started out on 100 milligrams. I moved to 200 milligrams. I'm currently taking 400 milligrams of magnesium glycinate. I started out smaller because it upset my stomach. I'm not going to even sit here and bullshit y'all. I will never bullshit you, okay? I'm probably the wrong person to ask for the truth. Okay, so if you're not already in the Chubby Girl Lifestyle, Chubby Girl Challenge, go to Facebook. The link's up in my link tree. You want to go there so you can join the group. But what I was talking about is these motherfuckers reported my group. They reported these ladies. Let me see if I can go here on this iPad really quick. If this is charged enough. Shit, what the hell is the... Uh, that was it. Okay, so what you're going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you there so you can see. Okay, magnesium is a doctor's best. It's on my website. If you go up to my beacon, which I'm about to show you how to do. Hold on. I'm going to get you all there. I'm going to go to TikTok. That's where you're at now. TikTok, and I'm Melly Mel. That's what they call me. Melly Mel. Short for Melissa. Short for short for Melissa. Melly Mel. I think it's 910. Hold the hold the hell on. Let me see who I am. If I search myself. I think that's me. No, I don't think that's me. Is that me? Okay, let me see. Melly Mel underscore. Probably just look up Chubby Girl Chat. I'm gonna see how y'all find me. I don't know. 910. And then you're gonna go return or search. Is that me right there? Let me see. Is that me? Videos. Um, none of these are me. Where the hell am I? Where am I? TikTok, Melly Mel, that's me all. Um, why can't I find myself? Do I exist? Am I, am I live right now? Who am I? Anyway, I'm trying to show you so I can walk you there so y'all can see where you need to go. So tiktok.com and I don't know how to find myself, but I'll find myself uh, for you. Uh, hold on, y'all. I'm taking you there. In the meantime, really, we've got, what, 28,000 hearts. Think, is it one L? Is, I really spelt it like that? Boy, I don't even know my own name. <laughs> it is Melly Mel underscore. Well, damn it to hell. But I don't even know who the hell I am. M E L Y Mel underscore nine one zero. Go. Go. Sorry, y'all. Trying to get it to go there. It's not going there. Probably because it's old raggedy ass. Um, I want to show y'all because I don't have my good iPad here. Tick tock. M E L Y. Y'all, I'm going to find it for those ladies who do not and who are not tech savvy. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the website. It's called a beacon. You want to go to my beacon link and that beacon link. Oh, there I am. I found myself. Ha ha ha. There I am. Look it. There's my site. That's us. So you want to go onto the page like this, right? That's the, if you notice there, that's the pictures of the, whatchamacallit. And you want to click underneath my name. You see underneath my name right there under the word follow? It says beacon. You should follow me too because how else are we going to be friends? And it's going to ask you, you're about to open a link and you're going to open it anyway. Sorry. And then it's going to take you here. 
Okay, let me let me break. Oh, look how fat my face looks there. Anyway, so if you want to have a one on one with me, I do an initial. Thank you, Don. I do an initial consultation. If you want to meet for 30 minutes and talk about shit, we can do that. Um, if you go right to the next one, that's the digestive enzyme. Okay, um, that digestive enzyme is actually the Zenwise and you want to put in Mel Zen 10 on that link. Um, that link, that's this right here. Where the hell is my digestive enzyme? The Pac-Man. That's the Pac-Man you're going to go. But then if you go down two more spots. Oh, by the way, there's an Amazon there. Hi, Denise. It's got my favorite things. If you want to get some shit to start this with, I, I bought myself a walking pad. Hey, what did anybody buy? I'm, I'm curious. What did you all buy on Amazon in the last two days? Tell me what the best thing is you bought. I'm just curious. What did you all buy? What did you all buy on Amazon Prime? Did anybody buy anything good? I'm just, I bought a walking pad. They were normally um, $4.99 and I got it for $189. I'm pretty excited about that one because when it gets to be winter, my ass is still going to be walking. But if you go down to the next one, you see where it says right there? Let me show you all. See that? See where the little Facebook thing is right there? You got a hot tub? Oh, that's cool as shit. Okay. I saw that hot tub on there. You see this right here? You see that link right there? You want to click on that right there. Go, bitch. Mm. Oh, there we go. And you're going to go there, and it's going to open up to Facebook, and you're going to go to our group, okay? Our group is called right here. Why has it got that generic shit on there? Okay, well, anyway, it's a private group because we don't put our business in the street, okay? Um, women hang together, and you know how they say – bros before hoes well we say i don't know but we say fuck that we are not putting our business out there so this is the group and you're going to go there and you are going to join it but when you join it do not get mad at me if my moderators are like no thank you because you did not answer the questions you have to answer the questions so then that brings me to my point tonight those of you ladies who are in here and i'm going to start this once people start heart in the room okay i need to see hearts in the room because i'm about to announce something this is epic for me but this is epic for y'all this is epic in general because we are about to fucking mm, chubby girl nation like for real we are about to change the way women in particular think about food we are going to change the mentality so our daughters and our granddaughters and our great granddaughters don't ever have to go through this shit. We are going to learn to unlearn the bullshit that we've been taught. We are going to finally take our bodies back. We are going to empower each other. And we are about to say enough is motherfucking enough. Okay. One thing that I've learned through this whole thing is medication. You know, medications that we use, they were tested on men. There's not a lot of research on women. Um, because why, you know, <laughs> let's not talk about how they messing with our rights too. We ain't gonna go there today, but what we are going to do is we're taking our shit back. So when these motherfuckers thought they were going to break into my group and they did, and these people thought that they were going to shut us down. And these people thought that the chubby girl challenge and, and Mel, Oh, I'm getting the warning right now. That's okay. Warning permanent ban. Well, okay. That's a, that's fake by the way. Let's, let's, you see that notification that just, um, came up in the room that said they're going to shut me down. That is fake, by the way. So if that comes up in the room, moderators, um, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and block those. So if you see that come in the room, just block it, um, moderators. Thank you. That is fake. So as I was saying, that's why I stopped. Thank you, Kathy. That's why I stopped my live the other night with the 800 people in it because of that bullshit right there. See, it's people like that that ruin that ruin shit like that. So here's the thing. All these people mass reported my page because I pissed some people off because I told the truth about two things. I was sexually assaulted 26 years ago by my ex-husband. I'll say it again. I don't give a fuck. I will go on Good Morning America. I will stand on the highest mountain. I will scream it from the biggest shore. I don't even care. Those of you who know, know I went through a little bit of a nervous breakdown over the last week because what I did, Alexis, Don, how you doing, girlfriend? What I did is I drove to Kentucky and 
I actually, those of you who know about Captain save -a and you know the man that I've loved oh, for 30-some years, like I have loved this man, I went and saw him. Not only did I get to go see him, hi, Deb, not only did I get to see him, he put me in the car and said, you know what? You're not giving that fucker any power anymore. He said, you're going to get in this car. We're going to ride together. And we drove down to where that person lives at. And he held my hand and we rode in the car and we rode by him. And he looked at him out the window and he like went like that to him. And I looked right into him in his face. Okay. Um, that that he just looked at me in my face and that was the most empowering moment of my life i put my sexual assault behind me this weekend and those of you who are new in here and i'm not going to get into it because i'm not going to trigger anybody i had a child who passed away behind it i'm healing at 52 years old i'm gonna cry i'm healing and this man gave me that ability to heal and when i found out this weekend matter of fact, Monday, that my account was being shut down and that I was about to lose you ladies. Like that's probably the most important part here is the community that we have built. We have 9,800 women who are supporting each other, who are going through the same thing. Like if anything I'm saying resonates with you, I'm not asking you, I'm begging you at this point to share the live. I'm asking you to stop sharing all these other creators information into our groups, share our videos, share the videos. I don't want to see another video about another creator talking about counting carbs. We don't do that. We are trying to change our thinking. We're not trying to perpetuate keto. We're not trying to perpetuate these, these diet fads. We are trying to take our life back to empower our young females that are coming behind us. This is much bigger than one woman. This is much bigger than Mel getting pot. I don't give a fuck if I don't, if, I don't charge shit. I think someone needs to hear me say this. I don't, I have a subscriber group now, but I do not charge anything. I just gave every woman in here the six steps to feel better. I gave you this, I gave you the path. I gave you the directions to the party. Do you remember when we were younger and people used to have, and my Uper friends know this, we used to have camp parties. We used to pick a spot in the middle of upper Michigan and go buy two or three barrels of beer. And then we'd take a piece of paper and we'd write party here. And there was, you go down this street here and then you turn here and then you go here and you do this. Well, guess what? I just gave you the fucking map. Now, if you want to use the map, bestie, then you use it. If you want to continue to buy into their bullshit, do it. But this is what I keep telling people. It takes 21 days to change a behavior. That's why the chubby girl challenge is a 21 day challenge. And this is what's epic. That's about to happen starting August 1st. I'm going to do it with you. I don't know if you've ever met a creator or a person who said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do it with you. What you normally get is content that is created and said, okay, this is what I did. Watch this video, go to this link. But what we're going to do July 31st at nine o'clock at night, we are all going to download the me 360 app. The women that are already doing it, women that don't know about it yet, we are going to download the me 360 app and we are going to together walk through 21 motherfucking days together. We are going to be each other's accountability partners. We are going, to, I'm going to go live every single morning, every single morning. I'm going to get my profi. You're going to ride with me. We're going to have motivational statements. We're going to work on our mental health and we're going to work on our souls and we're going to work on our inside and our outside and we're going to do it together. But the big thing the really big thing, the epic thing that's about to happen here, you know, those motherfuckers who tried to stop us, that would be my ex and the women who do multi-level marketing. Let me say something to you ladies really quick. If you see this, let me take you over here really quick. I am not mad at any woman out there. Listen to me. Like, come here for a second. I've sold products too for companies. I've been top producer in several companies. I have misled. I have bamboozled. I have told stories to women that I called my friends and my sisters behind trying to lose weight and getting money myself. And you can't be mad at yourself. And the women in this room can't be mad at you because we all are on the same boat. We're all going through the same thing. 
but we can't do that shit anymore. We can't exploit each other anymore. We can't take each other's money anymore. We got to go back to the women that we used to be, where we support each other, where we're not a divided society of women, where we straighten each other's crowns, where we lift each other up when we have bad days, where we're not like, oh, look at that bitch over there. Look how skinny she is. Or she looks like a bitch. So the fuck what? You're still my sister. I, I am, I'm still, I'm 278 pounds right now. I am struggling. I'm going through it. Kathy that's in this room is down on 130 pounds. Do you think I wish I was 130? Absolutely. But that's my fucking sister right there. Not my biological sister. That is my sister that God brought to me. My higher power brought to me. Every woman in this room was brought together on design. We were not here for bullshit. You were not just happened to be on TikTok on a Wednesday night and saw some chubby girl with a fucking tie-dye shirt on. You're like, this bitch is swearing. Who the fuck is this bitch with the pink nails? And you jumped in here. This happened for a reason. We are a family for a reason. We are a group of women who now are going to change the outcome of health for women that are coming up behind us. So what's about to happen in the next week or so, maybe sooner than that, I'm about to launch my own site. Did you just hear that correctly? I'm about to launch. It's like Facebook. I'm going to have a chat community. We are going to have our own. I can swear. We can do whatever the fuck we want to. Nobody can stop us for using words. We're allowed to say fuck the scale. I can blow scales up like I did here. No one's going to shut our shit down. And we are going to spread a vision. And we are going to build a community of women, of fucking women who are sick and tired of being sick and tired. We are going to take our health back and we're going to support each other and we're going to do it. And then there's really cool shit I got planned, you know, like, do you remember ladies when we were younger? You, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it right now. You got to give me a second. Like this all just happened in 24 hours. Motherfuckers try to break in our shit. There's there. If you go on my Facebook, go to Facebook right now and look up Melissa Nobles. That's my legal name. I don't give a fuck. Everybody in the world knows it. So I'm doxing myself. That's what they say. You're not supposed to do that. Well, I just did go on there and look my, my Melissa M E L I S S A Nobles N O B L E S. That's my ex married name. But anyway, look that shit up. That's not very Italian right? Look that shit up. And what you will see there is you will see, right? The pictures of the things that I got reported on. So I just found this out. So you got to give me about 24 hours and I will have that room open and we are going to build a fucking community to the point where I'm going to develop an app. We're going to have our own chubby girl lifestyle app where you can be in Walmart and say to someone, Hey, you know what? Why are you buying those diet products? My friend, why are you doing that? All you have to do is go do the chubby girl lifestyle. It's six steps. Here you go. Download it on your thing and then they'll download it and they'll do it too. Right. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. We're, we're not letting, no one's going to stop us. I'll be damned if I have to have every motherfucker in here in my fucking backyard. I'm not still in the UPM back at home. We're going to have, if I have to invite every woman from across the United States to come sit in my backyard to have meetings, we are not going to, we are not going to have this. We are not going to do this. If you go join the group, Mimi, then you'll find me. I probably have it where you can't search me because I have stalkers. Imagine that. Um, up and be on the chubby girl lifestyle. Hold on. I got to go get a charger or it's about to disconnect. So here's something that we're going to do that's really cool. So some of you that already know, know we have the chubby girl lifestyle and that's free. We also have a paid subscription. It's called The Rink. The Rink is very different. The Rink actually was in the, we have a library of videos. Well, we're supposed to, but since they shut all my shit down, I can't upload anything. <laughs> I can't do anything. I can't even go live on my own page, y'all. Not legally right now. Not for 28 days. They've got everything of mine is shut down right now. And so anyway, as I was saying, and there's no way for me to recover it. So I don't know what's going on here. So as I was saying, um, we are getting ready to go ahead and launch that. And so it's going to have really cool things. Like for example, I'm so proud of myself. Like I like these ideas. I th sometimes I come up with ideas and I'm like, how the hell did you get smart like this? Cause I'm not really that smart on a given day, but here's the thing. We are going to have customized jean jackets. You don't have to get a jean jacket. If you want a jean jacket, you can get a jean jacket trying to get someone to make them right now and they'll say chubby girl lifestyle on them you know how when you're in other groups and associations they have stuff like hey sue you actually lost 10 pounds 
here's like a little like, you know, pin or something, right? Well, guess what we're gonna have? We're gonna have milestone pins to put on our jean jackets. You know, like in high school, how we used to do the pins. But they're gonna say like, after, after you hit 10 inches lost total, we're gonna have fuck the scale. We're gonna have every month for milestones, we're gonna have different pins that you get for free. You'll get like, once you hit a goal, once a month, we're gonna give out awards. We're gonna have chubby girl of the day. We're gonna have chubby girl of the month. We're gonna fucking celebrate each other and we're gonna actually have the first ever, first ever, I already announced we're doing a retreat in September, but this is really big. We're gonna have the first ever chubby girl lifestyle conference in March. In March, we're gonna have a conference. Where, where are we having a conference? In Chicago. I'm going to rent a place out. There's gonna be hotel rooms if you wanna come. There's gonna be speakers. Every fucking bitch, excuse my language in this room, every one of your besties, every girl that you've got to know, every woman that you've spent time with, we're gonna celebrate each other. We are going to stand in Chicago strong and we are going to stand up for each other and we are going to celebrate our one year birth on March 6th. That was when the chubby girls, believe it or not, this is not even six months old. So that's what's coming. That's what's coming on the pipeline. I know y'all are like, Mel, Chris is going to kill me. Chris is like, do not announce it until we have it. Well, we have it. I just, it's not ready to launch yet. So y'all got to give me about 24 hours and I'll have it up for y'all. And I'll start sending out personal invitations to the ladies in the rink first. And then I'll go into the chubby girl challenge and we'll add people. So anyway, I said all that to say this. When I say there's no one better than you, when I say that motherfuckers have failed you in the past, I want to apologize. I really want to apologize to the women in this room. And you're probably like, Mel, what the hell are you apologizing to me for? I'm apologizing to you for the lies that we've been told. I'm apologizing to you for the diet culture, that if you are over the age of 35, that you have watched all these years go from Richard Simmons, Susan Powers, Nutrisystem, motherfucking Slim Fast, Weight Watchers, Tops, fucking Keto, fucking, gosh, I could just keep going. The carnivore diet, the Optima diet, the take this pill, the take that pill. And then now, I'm 52 years old and I turn on my TV set and the very things that I bought 15 years ago to lose weight, I'm finding out are causing cancer. I'm finding out are killing women, are hurting women. The very things that, like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about, let's talk about Splenda for a second. Or, or what's that called? Sucrose or whatever the hell that is. They said, oh, you know what? Sugar's bad for you. Sugar's the devil. Don't eat sugar, even though sugar was created by God. It wasn't, cre- we're going outside to the car right now. Even though sugar was not created by, I mean, was created by God, not by man. Right. And so, but we're going to tell people it's not good for you, but eat this product. This I'm struggling with the C word. It, it's one of those things that we got to stop buying into the bullshit. So that's where my apology comes in tonight to every woman in this room, to every woman that's been misled, because at the end of the day, women would lose weight. <sighs> not the smartest apple in the barrel. Because every woman is an individual. There is no woman like any woman in this room. Let me, let me say that right now. This is, my, this is my, I'm here to say to you today, my sisters, my women, my, my ladies, my queens, there is no other woman like you. So that motherfucker that cheated on you, that person who forsake you, that person who did not realize your worth, fuck them. Fuck them and fuck them. If, if it was your dad, if it was your mother, if it was your aunt, if it was your cousin, if it was your sister, if it was a man you loved, if it was a woman you loved, doesn't matter who it is, fuck them. Because you're taking back your power today. And it's about you, right, as an individual. So when I say nobody's better than you, I'm not full of shit. I'm saying this for 20 years, I can't even breathe right now. <sighs> Walk too fast. What I'm saying is, you gotta know your self worth, you gotta deal with your demons. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. Let me say this to you again. They're not going anywhere. You can continue to eat them. You can continue to struggle with your health. You can continue to lay in your bed and do the same thing and expect a different outcome. Or you can take your ass over to Facebook and join the Chubby Girl Challenge. Hold on for 24 hours. Let me get this app built out. And you can take your health back. And... I'm going to be there right with you. And all these women in this room that you just saw talking, they're, they're living this lifestyle. They're going to be right there with you too. And I promise you, I'm not selling wolf tickets. 
This ain't some bullshit. This ain't some fucking after hours infomercial. This shit really works. I want to thank you for spending your life minutes with me tonight. I'm going to be quiet for a second. Any questions? Let me ask. Any questions before we close it out? Hell yeah, we're here for each other. Hell yeah. We are a community like no other community, and we don't put up with bullshit either. I've had to kick a couple women out. There's some pissed off women out there, but guess what? We don't hang out with those women. With women who are not there to build us up. We don't hang out with women who pass judgment. I said, uh, what did you say about Splenda? Look it up, honey. Like, seriously, I'm not saying that funny. Google it. Look up why it's not healthy for you right now. Look it up. You're better off to eat a tad bit of sugar that when am I going to be live next? So I am live. If you don't subscribe, so if you do subscribe, let's, let's start there. If you subscribe starting every Sunday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and at midnight Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to go live, live for my ladies, live for my ladies that are subscribing. So if you want to find me, all you got to do is subscribe to my live and you'll get me every time. I always go live every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, right around 9 p.m. I am losing my job. I just found this out. <laughs> we ain't going to get into all that, but I'm losing my job in a few weeks. So I will be doing this full time. So I will be live a lot more often. But right now, that's when I am live. I am live those nights. If you want a one-on-one, -on -one, book one out with me. If not, I'll see you over there. Where's over there? Chubby Girl Lifestyle. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on, you know, whatever. You're right, Kathy. You're right. It's it's time. It's time. I'm 52 years old, and I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna shout it from the highest mountain, and I'm not stopping until I'm on Good Morning America. Y'all y'all are my witnesses right here. I will not stop till I sit on Good Morning America, and I can tell the whole world about the chubby girl lifestyle. Then I'll stop. Then I'll sit down for a day. Till then, we're gonna keep going. My YouTube name is the same. It's I think it's Chubby Girl Lifestyle or Melly Mel. If you go to my beacon underneath my name on the main page, like I showed y'all, my YouTube is right there. All you gotta do is hit a hyperlink, all right? Ladies, have a blessed and amazing night. Friday night is Friday fun night. Again, shout out to Veronica if you are still here. Those of you who were here earlier, Veronica won our 50-50 drawing. What's that? Um, we did a walkathon last month, this month, July, and they actually were for June. We walked in June. It's July. Yeah, in June, and they won $520, so congratulations, Veronica, if you're still out there. Um, we give away a lot of money. There you are. There's V. Can we get, there's 150 people now. See V in the room. Can we celebrate V? Not only did V walk their ass off, V was the winner of the 50-50 drawing. We were going to do another one in August. So get ready. If you're ready to walk your ass off, we're going to walk our ass off. This is going to be amazing. Okay. We're going to do one of the biggest walks ever. And we're going to walk again for ourselves because we're going to be selfish. Right. Um, and we're going to win some prizes and do some great things. And if you're in Kentucky, woo! if you're in Kentucky, I'll be there. I'm coming on Monday. On Monday, I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky for the next two weeks. Thank you for that. And then I'll be in Lexington, Kentucky to do the 21-day challenge with you ladies. I'll be staying at the Hilton. I talked to these people, and the Hilton was like, yeah, you know what? You can do it here. So I'm going to do it from the Hilton. We're going to go through it. We're going to start it on the 1st of August. We'll walk together every day. We'll fucking go live together every day. You have my – you're by Rupp. Really? We got to go to lunch. I'm going to do a lunch in Lexington. I think that'll be fun. We're going to do a lunch in Lexington. We'll go live and we'll have as many people in the Kentucky area who want to come down. I'm going to drive up to Chicago and meet with my ladies up in Chicago for a couple days up that way. Then I'm going to take my ass over to Atlanta. And I'm come, you want me to come to Milwaukee? Stop it. That's my stomping grounds, V. I got in some serious trouble. Um, when I was in Milwaukee, let me, let me go there. Let me just go there over by the bus station. Got in some trouble. Mm. If you ever heard the story of when I got my ass whipped by my daddy, that's why. And, and I'm going to be in New Jersey. 
Well, I, n- I never even thought about Texas. Maybe I should make a Texas trip. But anyway, um, you want me to come? Candy, where are you at? Rochester's a move. Not, um, I'll be in Atlanta um, right after the 21 days. So I'm going to do the 21 days. And we're going to do 21 days in Lexington, Kentucky. And then we're going to do, um, I'm going to the Jersey Shore. I want to go to the Jersey Shore because I've never been there and I want to gamble. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to make appearances every month. Don't tell me about Puerto Rico now, unique nail salon. If you're going to do my nails, I will come. Are you in a salon that you, because I'll go to Puerto Rico to get my nails done. I am going to lie. Well, you got to come, Teresa. Like we got to do lunch together, girlfriend. My, it is my goal to meet as many women in person as I possibly can. I was in Lexington the other day and I'm going to let y'all go. And I was in Lexington visiting Captain Savaho and for the first time after 30 years smile on my face. Anyway, um, and I walked into this freestanding Starbucks that you have to walk up to. They don't have like anything in there. And I walked in. Oh, thank you. I walked in and this girl was like, comes running out from the back screaming, like screaming. She's like, oh my gosh, it's her. And I'm like, now watch, I'm looking behind me. I'm looking, I'm looking behind me. I'm like, who the fuck's her? Where is she at? Who's here? I'm thinking I'm going to meet someone famous. I'm like, who is it? And the girl's like, you're the fat Italian lesbian. And I was like, I'll be her. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, "Uh, yeah, because I work for that company. Yeah, anyway, but she knew me and she was like, and they're LGBTQ friendly Starbucks, which I absolutely love because my my daughter and her girlfriend and whatever. Anyway, and so she comes running out from the back. She's like, "Get a cup!" And I'm like, you know, like you know, like when that little guy says, "Do the roar." Yeah. So he's like, "Do the roar." I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "Get a cup!" And they're coming out and they're bringing me coffee and they gave me gift cards and she's taking pictures with me and I'm like, "What the fuck?" Like these people actually know me. She's like, "I know who you are." Like I watch you on TikTok and I cried. I said, "I was like, oh my god." She's like, "Can I get a picture with you?" I said, "Girl." I said, "Let's go have a cup of coffee." So we sat there and had a cup of coffee together and she cried and I cried and it was just like one of these great moments where this is why I'm doing this shit. This is why I'm doing this shit. And she didn't cry for herself. She cried for her mother. Her mom's diabetic and her mom is no longer taking insulin since she started this. And I told her, I said, you better have your mom find me on TikTok or Facebook or somewhere and please write to me because I would love to meet her in person. And she sat there and she cried and she said, I promise you, they thought my mama was going to lose her leg. And she found you in April and she did it verbatim. She said she doesn't do what she wants for lunch. She only eats protein because she wants to get her health in order first. And she said, and she's down 51 inches. And I said, you know what? That's why I'm doing this shit. That, that right there is why I do this shit. That's why my company can fire me. My company can lay me off because you know what? They're laying me off for bigger and better things. And that's for y'all. So anyway, ladies, thank you for joining me tonight. Love each and every one of you. Please reach out to me if there's anything I can do to support you. And soon as I have the site launched, the second I have the site launched, every woman on Facebook will get a personal invitation from me directly and we'll go from there. Nothing will stop us, ladies. We will continue to spread the message. All I ask of you right now is to please go on to my page and share my videos. That's it. I, I'm not asking anything big. I don't want your money. I don't want your grandchildren. I don't want your cooking. I mean, I do want your cooking, but I would like you to go on and comment and share and spread the word. The, TikTok's got me shut down because we use the word challenge. Facebook has me shut down because I pissed off the world. So if you want to support the Chubby Girl lifestyle in any way, shape, or form, Please, please, please go on Facebook, share the group, go on Facebook, go on my page once you join the group and share the mission statement, okay? Share the mission statement on here and let's stop gatekeeping and let's get our sisters that we know, the women that we went to high school with, our our friends, our like our, our live friends that we're like right there with and the, that you work with, tell them about this so they can stop struggling and we can all feel better together. All right, ladies, thank you for everything you do on a daily basis, and thank you for being you. Be blessed. Be amazing. Don't take bullshit from anybody. Fuck the scale. Take your health back, and always remember, nobody, nobody, not a motherfucker, 
better than you. Love you girls. Have a great night. Love y'all. Love you ladies. How do I turn this off? I never can turn this off.